In this video, we will take a look at some of the basics of bond valuation. Now, before getting into the nitty-gritty of valuing a bond, I want you to remember one thing about asset valuation of anything in finance. The value of any asset or any security is the present value of all the future expected cash flows. This is a principle that applies to bonds, stocks, preferred stocks, pretty much any financial asset. Remember that we need to understand three things before we value a bond. First, the future expected cash flows in the forms of a coupon payment and repayment of the principal, that is the par value that we would get back. Second, the maturity of the bond. That means the time that remains up until the bond matures. This is usually denoted by N. The third variable is the required rate of return of the investor. This will usually be given to you. So let's take a look at the Toyota example. On your screen, you will see a problem where Toyota issues a bond with a maturity date sometime in 2020, and the stated coupon rate is 4.5%. There are five years left until maturity, which means N equals five. And the investors owning the bond require a 2.1% rate of return. So we have been provided with the R, the required rate of return. We have also been provided with N, five years. What we need to find out now are the relevant cash flows. The cash flows associated with the coupon of four and a half percent and the repayment of the entire principal amount, the par value of $1,000. Remember that the $1,000 here has not been given to you because it is the industry norm. We should automatically assume that any bond has a face value of $1,000. So first of all, what is our coupon payment? It is 4.5% annual. That means 4.5% 0.045 times the par value, $1,000. That gives us $45 every year. This will continue throughout the life of the bond. So $45 of coupon payments every year. Of course, we would also receive the entire face value upon maturity. So that is another $1,000. So that gives us an idea of all the cash flows we will receive. Year one up until year five, every year we will receive $45. On year five alone, we will receive another $1,000 as per the requirement of the bond. The face value is $1,000. N is five. The required rate of return, R, is 2.1%. Now you can solve this using your financial calculator if you have one, or you can also solve this manually. The slide on your screen gives you an idea of all the cash flows associated with this Toyota bond. We are simply discounting all the cash flows to their immediate present value. In year one, 45, we discount that using the 2.1%. We keep doing that for all the years, except for year number five, we have both $45 and $1,000. So we discount that into the present value. So when we add up all the present values of the cash flows, CF1 all the way to CF5, we arrive at the answer of $112.80. So that is a typical example of how to value a bond.